Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Judy and you are watching Running So and So. And firstly, thank you so much to everyone who has watched my last vlog, liked my last vlog and commented on my last vlog and vlogs going back. Thank you so very much. And if you are a new subscriber, welcome. It's lovely to have you with me on this crazy bit of a sewing journey. And if you've not subscribed yet and you would like to consider subscribing, there's a little reminder somewhere down there. You just hit the link. Anyhow, what have I been up to? Well, if you saw my last vlog, you know very well that I told you I was going off to London to see the Chanel exhibition at the Victoria and Albert Museum. So I am going to stop talking now and let the camera roll. Early morning dog walk with the ladies. It can only mean one thing. I'm off on a day out. I'm on an adventure. Yes, I'm all but ready. And I'm off to London with Hannah and we are going to the V&A to see the Chanel exhibition, which is, which is my Christmas present. I'm so excited because we're going to do one or two other things while we're down in the smoke. See you later. We're on the train. Yes, and we're heading down to London. We're on a non-stop train. It's six minutes past nine now. What time are we doing? Um, something past ten. Ten. And we've got ten thirteen, ten twenty. This is my Christmas present. Is this is what I was telling you all about. V&A membership from Hello Michael. And we are off to, we're going to see as many exhibitions as we can see in one day. Oh, basically. Definitely. There's one called Diva, which is the dresses from the shows. I think it's dresses from the shows. Dresses yes. from the shows. So like stage things, I think there's Prince and one or two other people. So that is going to be really, really interesting just to see everything. So we will see you when we get to London. So we've got an hour to go and I've got an hour's time. Look, oh, she's got a Royster card. Has it got credit on it? I don't know. I need to oh, try. Well, those went out with the arc. Well, I found it, and if it's got money on it, well, I'm sure it'll still be valid. I brought everything in my little mini pouch from Adam. It's um, Super Eagles and Caddy Packers for Adam. If you're going on the train, they take everything. Just love it. Isn't it beautiful? She will sew anywhere. as many stitches as I can get for the inch. I apologise for the rocking, the train is bumpy. Especially after we hit, we, uh, hit a landslip. It's, you can see what happened. Here we were, we, the train hit a minor landslip. We braked, they handled it, they checked it. Our train got checked and we are now clear. We were clear to, to move. And we feel sorry for everybody stuck on the trains behind us that will now be caught in it. Just come out of South Kensington Tube Station and there are tunnels underground that take you over to the museums but you miss this bit of London. And this is beautiful. proper London. This is community London. So you've got your beautiful, beautiful white houses that London is famous for. And then you've got absolutely stunning community streets like this in the water. Absolutely beautiful streets. And these, these are the tunnels that go back tunnels that go underground so they come from the tube station literally under where we are now and over to the museum and the V&A is the one with the dome but it's actually quicker to come over ground but people still go down the tunnels because that's what you do or hate her she's an icon of fashion and for some reason everybody wants to see and there's also Diva which is on which is going to be interesting no Diva is already off. Look at the date. <laughs> Never been. So here we go. It's happening, it's happening, it's happening. Off we go.
mirror. It's the mini mirror. So as Hannah goes around, you can see every single bit of her dress. Rolls along some bumps of baby George. All the angles of mum. So wasn't the exhibition fantastic? I tried to cut it down and tried to be a little bit um, more economical with my footage. I couldn't. I just needed to let the camera roll because there was so much to see. And as you came to the end, there was the staircase. Now I was trying to film the staircase and I wanted to do some talking. Uh, I need to work on how to do a voiceover on my vlogs. That will be my next learning challenge. It is possible. I've got some idea of how to do it, but I decided I would just go for the um, ticker tape thing across the bottom and explain something to you at the end. So, a few years, now when was it? About nine years ago, I was really lucky and I actually went to the flagship Chanel shop in Paris. And I did make a very small purchase, which now resides with my daughter. And after I'd made the purchase, I said to them, I'd really love to go and see the staircase. And the guy said, it's absolutely no problem at all. So he trolled me off to this staircase, which is at one end of the shop. Literally, the doors to the street are behind you, but they're sort of covered over so people can't see in. Um, and he took me, said, you can go so far up the stairs. I was allowed to go so far. So I could actually see up at the top and into her private rooms where she would have done her work. So where I've got my hand on the rail, on the banister, just above there is where Coco Chanel would have sat and watched her models descending the stairs. So she could see everything from different angles. But the staircase that they put in the V&A was curved, so it wasn't totally authentic. But nevertheless, there's a picture of Hannah and I on the staircase. So where did we go from there? From there, we headed back into London. We had hoped to meet my brother, but unfortunately he couldn't make it. He had other things he needed to attend to on the day, so he couldn't come into town. So we came off at Green Park and had a little wander down Piccadilly and thought, hmm, let's go into Fulham and Mason. Now, I love a bit of Fulham and Mason. It's a tourist mecca. You don't buy much in that shop because it is so expensive, but just have a little look at this. Just looking. But I bought something for Tristan and Rachel. Oh well, look, they've got fine fondant creams on them. Can you see that? Lay them My mum's no. favourite. Violet creams, she loved them. All these troubles. I know that a lot of tourists come to the UK and they love going to Harrods. But you need to come to Portland and you need to come for this very reason. Look at this staircase. This is the old shop staircase and it's just amazing. It is just absolutely wonderful. Just coming up the stairs to use the staircase. No other reason than that. We'll have a little look up here. We're going to have a look here. So we're just coming to see if we've got any like little Fortnum gifts and they've got some things over there. There they are. I can see them. Yeah, so she's right in the picnic section. Not that I'm buying a Portland and Mason picnic camper. You mean we're not? We're not. No, we're not. Mother. There's only £145. How much, Hannah? £145. £145. This is what I'm after. Ta-da! One of these. Oh, yes. This is the alternative staircase with flying teacups, <laughs> as modelled by Hannah. It's just beautiful. The whole building. There you go, there. Look at that. So on today's guided tour of London, places that people don't normally go, we have got Bond Street, which is full of all those labels and places that you look in through the window and never go in. <laughs> so we thought we might just finish off our Chanel-esque day by pulling in and just having a little look in the window of the flagship uh, boutique. So here we go, we're on more Bond Street. So we've got Tiffany's, Alexander McQueen. It's like going down Fifth Avenue. Oh, look, Ralph Lauren. Propaganda. Can't really say that. Where are we going? Into, we're going to Ralph's, apparently. There's a coffee shop here, Ralph Lauren. And we're going to have coffee there in Ralph's coffee shop, which is going to be fun. Actually, I'd rather fancy having my coffee outside. Rather fancy having my coffee outside. 
keeping up with the theme today. Just come down to Chanel on Bob Street. Uh, just having a look at the Chanel suit 2024, which is a, a little all in one suit, cute suit, play suit. It's actually rather gorgeous. I love it with that little bag. So from Bond Street, we wandered over to Liberty's and I did look, but I just couldn't find anything I wanted to buy. So I decided not to buy anything. I could see all this gorgeous sale fabric that Adam keeps talking about. And they said, oh, it's on tomorrow, come back tomorrow. And I'm like, yeah, but that means there's a train down from York. And they said, well, just come back. And they couldn't quite grasp that it wasn't possible. So I decided not to buy anything. And that was it, I just didn't buy anything. And from there, we wandered behind Liberty's, further in towards Soho, and sat down at the Ivy. And then I got a text message, and this is what happened. Hannah and I have just, we sat outside. There you go. Yeah. Sat outside the <laughs> Ivy on uh, Broad, Broad, Broadwick. Broadwick Street, and we got a message. I'm gonna flip the camera around, you're not gonna believe who's running. Hello, Joe. Hello. Hello, Adam. Hello. <laughs> and, and Joe okay. was better than me in Liberties because I went into Liberties and bought nothing. Joe went into Liberties and bought. Da da da. Drum roll. Yeah. These two, half a metre of each. Didn't know what to go for. Really liked this one as soon as I saw it, but they had it in lots of different colourways. Yeah. But I thought, I'm going to go for that one. And then I saw that one. And I just really liked it. It was sort of um, sort of vintagey. Vintage, it is vintagey. Uh, yeah, I think yeah. Lorianne would. I think she's got that one. Yeah. So I think they're uh, very Lorianne-ish. Uh, really Lorianne will tell me. Yeah. Really like those. Yeah, they're great, aren't so, they? Yeah, have those. Oh, and now we're just having hot there. drinks outside the Ivy, and it's absolutely glorious. Look. So after a lovely chat with Joe and Adam, we wandered back off to the tube station we we both went we all four of us went off to Oxford Circus and we went our separate ways they went back to they live near Reading and we headed off to King's Cross and got our train home so what did I buy in London I did not buy a lot I've left them over here so I bought not very much in the V&A I bought a couple of pencils that say V&A and the Chanel manifesto on them. I've got a couple of those. I love these. I love these black pencils. They're the same as the ones Atelier Brunette do. And they need to go in this. Which I've got in my sewing room. So I can put all my pencils in here. I bought this this like I don't know, it's like a can you see in there? Oh no, I don't you can. Oh yeah, you can. It's one of these things you put your oh! You stick things into it, you can see all the blue inside there, you stick everything you need in. So I've got pens, Rulo, loop turners, scissors, um, pointers, quick unpicks. Oh, and at the end, look here, my little, little bag of goodies I need for my banana for threading. And this little wooden dish I got from Store Stream and, Store, Store Stream and Green. I don't know, they're all over the world apparently. It's a bit like Flying Tiger on steroids. Anyway. And then the other thing I bought was, I just bought some postcards um, of a lady in the classic suit, the handbag, and a bottle of perfume. And I am going to put these in little frames, like I've done with my postcards in my kitchen, those wooden postcards. I'm going to put those in the kitchen so that I can have a lovely reminder of my day out at the V&A. Now then. I was very lucky that Hannah and Michael bought me this beautiful book and my interest is in Chanel's take on fashion, the way that she's made fashion easy to wear. She brought men's fashions into the woman's wardrobe and she took away the corsetry and she made us, she gave us jersey, she gave us a lovely sleek line, a line to be comfortable in and she would say if you feel good, you'll look good. And that's true, that's exactly how I feel about clothing. But it made me think about other things I've got in my stash or in my work in progress basket. 
And this is where I need to really hold my head in shame. But I'm going to wind the clock back. And I'm going to wind back to 1995. 29 years ago, the year I lost my mum. And I was doing my City and Guilds in Hull, at Hull College. And the lovely lady who ran the course, Lynn, Lynn Benson, and she said, I've got some fabric here and it's from Linton's and we've got all of these and she came out and she said there's one piece in here that's Chanel wool and silk and I think this is what started it. Now the biggest confession next, the next big confession is I started to make this jacket in the summer of 2015 and I've not finished it and I feel so guilty. But this is one of the copies of the Chanel jacket. And I have got the book by Claire Schaefer. Now, Claire Schaefer has got channels. I'll link her in the bio below. But she has done a lot of research into how the jacket was constructed. Because, again, is it a jacket or is it a jacket? It's it's called the Couture Cardigan Jacket. And the pattern that it, you recommended to use is one of Claire's patterns and it's by Vogue. And it is Vogue 8804 and it is still, a, still around. I'll link it in the description box below. Minerva, um, oh there's loads of places where you'd be able to get this from. Amazon, just, just Google Vogue 8804. And it is the Claire Schaefer Couture Jacket Cardigan. Or oh, Cardigan Jacket. So this one, I have, it is all made and I have started at the top there to fold into the lining. Now the lining I used, I didn't use an expensive lining. I've got a wool silk hound tooth, which is from Linton's, made for Chanel. In fact, one of the jackets that went round on the stands, I thought it did have the hound tooth, but it wasn't quite the same. It was a black. This is cream and navy. And the one that was in the exhibition was black hound tooth. And it looked a little bit fuzzy between the two. Now, it is a little bit big for me, but let's have a little look at it. Now... I have not finished it and it should finish with a butt finish here. Now I think that I can finish this. It might be a bit big for me here, but I'm, I could take it in. I might have a look at seeing what I can do, but from behind it looks fine. Across, around my shoulders, it actually still fits me perfectly across my shoulders. And when I made this, I would have been roughly the size I was now because I went for a few weeks to a lady in Leeds to do this. Um, I can't even remember what she's called. Gillian Hargreaves. I don't know if she's... I still get the occasional email. So I think I am going to have a go at seeing how I could do about finishing it. It is a very loose around my sides. Let me just lop it down a bit more. Here. But the sleeve is perfect because I always moan about having slightly chunky arms and it is a panelled sleeve. Let me take it off and show it you from the inside. So what I've started to do on the inside here is I've got lines here and I have to hand quilt that because I can't put it through the sewing machine because it will damage the threads on this. Now I didn't have these sewing machines. When I started to make this, I had a Benina 8, I had a Benina 18, an Artista 180, couldn't remember what it is now. Um, and I think what I need to do is to sit down and start to do the straight lines of quilting. And I need to do those on from the top to the bottom. I haven't done the sleeves and the sleeves need quilting. It would be great to finish it. I just need, I... If I got the jacket finished in, its, in itself, I could, at that point, start to look at getting some lovely uh, braiding for the front. Um, I've yet to finish the sleeves, and I have got 
wool here at the sleeves and it's this little bit of wool here, wadding, that gives the sleeves the bit of a shape. I'm just having a jolly good look. But inside, all these bits of lining will need turning back and hand finishing. And then I will need to put a chain at the bottom of the jacket. I want to finish it. I know I need to finish it. I've just got to find the time to finish it because I need to do the pogo nip at the moment. And all my head is doing is saying, finish your Chanel jacket, finish your Chanel jacket. Or your Chanel style. Having a little look at what Hannah and I got up to in London. We had the most fantastic day. It was a lot for Hannah to do. She is now 32 and a half weeks pregnant. Um, think she is starting to tire a little bit. We are so very, very excited about this baby coming um, to, to join Ollie in the family. And before long, I'll have two grandsons. So, thank you so very much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed Hannah and I and our little trip to London. And I will be back with you all soon. And if you've enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd now like to subscribe, here's your little reminder going down to hit your subscribe button. And I will see you all again very soon. Have a lovely week and stay safe. Goodbye.